and you all enjoyed this beautiful day that God made. Uh, Amen. To see, I mean, it was a beautiful day, and Amen. God continues sure. to show through nature and the things around us through His creation just how good mm -hmm. God is. Amen. Even on a rainy day, God's good. Yes, sir. Yeah. Snow, oh. wind, hail, he's good. good. Yeah. Sunshine, he's good. Good. He's good all the oh, time. Man. This is what they said. God yes, is sir. good all the time. All and the time. All, all the time. time. God is. Storm and rain. Yes, sir. That's right. Come on, let us pray. God, we thank you for this opportunity to bask in you. Yes, God, Lord. Lift you up. Even in the study yes, of your word, we worship and adore you. Yes. God, we, we magnify yes, your name because yes, you're just yes. that good. God, yes, you're yes, better than good. Yes, sir. If I had 10,000 tongues, I couldn't thank you enough for what you've That's all right. done in my life. And That's I'm right. sure that if we multiplied that title and the number of people on this line, that it, it, we could yeah. get a million yeah. dollars. We should thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. So I thank you for this opportunity to study, mm -hmm. to, to mm -hmm. grow in the scripture, to know more yes. about you and to draw closer to you through the mm -hmm. knowledge of the word. Now, God, yes. have your way. Holy have Ghost. Do whatever it is you want to do. Enlighten yes, us. Open our minds and our hearts to you. Yeah. Yes. yes the depths of our souls, God, are open to you. Uh huh. Holy Ghost, just do what it is you do best. Show yes. up. Show out. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. We wait on you. Mm -hmm. Where else can we go? Who else can we turn to? That's right. Mm -hmm. Jesus, you hold the words of life. Yes, sir. So we thank you for these words. We thank you, God, for this life that you've given us and this life that you've called us to live. Mm -hmm. What else can we live for besides you? And the sooner we recognize and realize it, the better. So, God, mm -hmm. we thank you, thank you, bless you, and we praise you for this time. With, with some, I said, a sweet hour of prayer. Sweet yeah, hour man. of prayer and yes, study. Sir. Thank In you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Well, God bless each of you today, and we're just trusting and believing God to impart wisdom upon us and knowledge of his word today, and mm -hmm. and, and doing so to draw us nearer. Draw me nearer. Draw me nearer, nearer precious Lord. Yes, yeah. sir. And the, the word does that for us. God's word draws us nearer. It brings us closer yes, in sir. understanding what God is saying to us, and God mm -hmm. speaks to Word. So we thank God for all that God does through the living word. The yes, living sir. word. The word that continues to give us instruction while yeah. we're here yeah. on this earth. And so we thank God for all God has done and is doing through the word. The mm -hmm. last time we were together, we've been us uh, continuing this discussion on I have everything that I need out of mm -hmm. second Peter the first chapter, verses three through 11. And we're up to the seventh session of this scripture because it is mm -hmm. just that much impacted into yeah. that word. There's just that much to the word that God has for us. Mm -hmm. I never intended or thought it would be this many sessions, but God is a wonderful and a loving God that bestows yeah. it. Yeah, the knowledge of his word and through that knowledge relationship. And yes, this is such a wonderful and an amazing topic of understanding that we have everything that we need, as Peter describes here in the text. Mm -hmm. And we've, we've talked about it and we've read from the text and we've, we're basically breaking it down. But I just want to read it again for your hearing just because I want to re-emphasize and reiterate what God is saying. And God says it this way in verse three, in first, second Peter first chapter, verse three, and starts out by reading this way, by his divine power, hallelujah. I can stop right there and preach that. His divine power, we know God has all power, but by his divine power, God has given us everything Somebody say it with me. Everything. Everything, 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 everything we need, need. Mm -hmm. for living a godly life. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
if that don't shout you, you are falling out your chair, clapping, stomping. For yeah, a, everything we need for a God of life, the, the, I can't even get to the rest of it yet because when I think about the goodness of Jesus and all oh, that he's done for you and me, this yes, God that life that Peter speaks to mm -hmm. is just amazing. It blows my mind. This godly life that God desires and wants for us and provides for us. Mm -hmm. Pastor, what? I'm sorry, which scripture did you just read? This is 2 Peter. Uh-huh. Chapter 1. Oh, okay. Verse 3. This is this is the, I was this in is, the wrong wrong chapter. Okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah, this is the text. This is the text we've studied for the last 6 weeks. This is on we ain't changed the scripture. The scripture been the same. We've been pulling I, from it. I, I I twisted it around. I was in 3-1 instead of 1-3. Oh, okay. And hey, look, I've done that too. The rest of it reads this way. We have received all of this. What is this? Everything we need Everything. for godly, for godly life. And, and, and then he goes on to say, we have received all of this. That's a lot. All of this by coming to know him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Simply to know him. To know him is to love him. To know him is to Amen. recognize his power. To know him is to recognize Amen. Presence to know him is to worship and adore him. To know him, we've received all of this. My God, all of this by coming to know him. The one who called us to himself by means of his marvelous glory and excellence. Don't you know that God called you out of darkness into his marvelous light? Yes, Lord. To his Marvelous glory and excellence. That, that's what he did when he saved your soul. You <laughs> said yes, but it was God calling you, drawing you. The word says God draws you near to him. Mm -hmm. God chooses you. And so this is what the scripture says, the one who called us to himself by means of his marvelous glory and excellence. And because of his glory and excellence, he has given us great mm -hmm. and precious promises. Mm -hmm. Last week, we talked about some of those promises and, and how we react to those promises. And, 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 and so we know that there are over 8,800 promises of God in the Bible. And so he's given us great and precious promises. These are the promises that enable us to share his divine nature and escape the world's corruption caused by human desire. So he gives us a way out of the things that corrupt us based on our flesh, based on our human desire. And say, in view of all of this, this is what Peter says in verse five, in view of all of this, all of those first four verses, in view of all of this, make every effort to respond to God's promises. And that's what we did last week. We talked about how we respond to God's promises. And this is, then he goes on to say, supplement your faith with a generous provision of moral excellence. Mm -hmm. We talked about that last week as well. We were able to talk about the promises as well as moral excellence. And we said that moral excellence equated to virtue. And we talked about how the virtue of God blesses us, how, mm -hmm. how, how we become virtuous in holding and reacting to God's promises and this virtue and how we conform is a, a conformity to God. We, we conform to the standard that God calls us to that's what what moral excellence and and, and virtue is it's, it's it's conforming to standards of what's right uh, a particular uh, a, a particular moral excellence if you will a, a beneficial quality or power of a thing and so we talked about that and how moral excellence is not easy it's not automatic it's something we have to choose 
we we have to respond to God's promises and responding to them. We choose to do right. We choose. Don't you know God gave you the the freedom of will? He gave you the ability to choose. Choose ye this day whom you will serve. But as for me and my house, we will serve them. He gave you free will to choose. And so we talked about how we have to choose more elections, how we have to choose virtue. Uh, and, and we went through that and we talked about how um, this uh, moral excellence and we're responding to the promises of God and, and how God blesses us uh, as, as, as we grow in virtue. This is why God is telling us through Peter to mm -hmm. add to our faith moral excellence, what we refer to as virtue. And then he goes on to say to and moral excellence with knowledge and knowledge with self-control. Tonight, I want to talk about knowledge. I'm, I'm hitting each one of these areas that Peter, that God has called us to through Peter, through the writings. I'm hitting each of these areas so that we'll know what it is, how we're to obtain it, why we are to obtain it. Why are we supplementing our, why does God want us to have this knowledge? Why does God tell us to supplement our faith with virtue and then knowledge? And so tonight that's where we're gonna focus on the knowledge part of it and then knowledge with self-control. And in weeks to come, we'll talk about self-control. We'll talk about and self-control with patient endurance. We'll talk about that and patient endurance with godliness and godliness with brotherly affection and brotherly affection with love for everyone. The more you grow like this, this is why it's important for us. This is why we're studying this. First of all, to have to recognize we have everything, God's given us everything for, for a godly life, but also so that we'll know the more that we grow like this, the more productive and useful you will be in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Isn't that wonderful? The more productive, that, that, that's got to shout you right there because we're all in this process of spiritual maturity and growth. And the more we grow, the Bible says, the more productive and useful we'll be in our knowledge of Jesus Christ, which means we'll, the more productive we'll be in God's kingdom here on earth. See. And, and so, but those who fail to develop, now don't get this twisted. It, it's not just those that are unsaved, it's those that are saved who also fail to develop in this <laughs> way and or short-sighted or blind, forgetting that they have been cleansed from their old sins. Mm -hmm. So dear brothers and sisters, work hard. Work hard. Somebody say it with me. Work hard. hard. Work hard. To prove, Work hard. Yeah. To prove that you really are among those God called mm -hmm. and chosen. Those that God has called and chosen. Do these things and you will never fall away. Mm -hmm. Then God will give you a grand interest into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ. I Christ. don't know about you, but that's why I want to be. I want Amen. to be in there. I, I, I want to know him. Mm -hmm. I, I, I want to know him and see him face to face. And I want to know him now and in, in, in his presence and stand in his presence now. That's right. That's and and right. know that I'll have this grand interest into the kingdom, the eternal yeah. kingdom, mm -hmm. which starts now. It doesn't I ain't talking about when you leave your earthly body. He's talking about now mm -hmm. that you can enter, have this grand entry into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's why I want to be. That's what the entire scripture is. That, that's the lessons that we've been drawing from this entire scripture. And tonight, mm -hmm. we want to talk about knowledge. What is this knowledge mm -hmm. that Peter is talking about? What, what about knowledge is important. Well, why does God say we need to have knowledge? Mm -hmm. 
first of all, we should recognize that knowledge comes from God. It's a gift from God. So God is giving yeah. us a gift. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I like it when people give me gifts. And I like mm -hmm. it when God gives me a gift, especially. Mm -hmm. I don't want to ignore the fact, and I certainly don't want to be ungrateful when mm -hmm. somebody gives me a gift. Yeah. Recently, the, recently, the church blessed me with a birthday gift. I was so appreciative. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I was so appreciative and glad to receive it. The card mm -hmm. itself, the, the fact that you recognize me uh, and bestowed upon me a gift, a card, if, if no more than the card, I would have been satisfied and happy. Mm -hmm. in, in addition to that, there was a gift inside the card. Yes, sir. Certainly. And then in addition to that, some other members, I, I'm going to just call out Sister Sonia, she, she she decided to also give me a card and a gift. Actually, there mm -hmm. were two gifts inside, two, two gifts inside the card. Mm -hmm. And I'm just pointing out to you how grateful I am when someone gives a gift. And you mm -hmm. reciprocate that gratefulness by saying thank you. You, you. you reciprocate that thankful, that get, you know, the, the, the giving of the gift by not only being thankful, but being appreciative of mm -hmm. the gift. And, and not only do you do that, because someone bestows the gifts upon you, you utilize the gift. Mm -hmm. Am I right about it? Mm -hmm. You don't just take the gift and put it on the shelf mm -hmm. and, and, and forget all about it. You utilize the gift. You, mm -hmm. you, you utilize these things, right? And mm -hmm. so God has given us a gift. Mm -hmm. The gift is knowledge. So we can't be oblivious to the fact that God has given us the gift of knowledge. We have to be thankful. Yeah. We have to be appreciative. Amen. Oh, and by the way, we have to use it. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yes, we know that God is omniscient. Mm -hmm. Right? We talked about God's power being omnipotent, right? Mm -hmm. we, we know that God is omniscient, and that omniscience yeah. means that he is an attribute having to do with knowledge. He's knowledge. all knowing. Mm -hmm. He's also all powerful. He's all knowing. He's everywhere, all at once. He's with you. He's yeah. with me. He mm -hmm. he he's omnipresent. But tonight, when we talk about the knowledge of God, we're talking about omniscience. It's it's this quality or this attribute having to do with knowledge, and it's it's the attribute of having knowledge of everything. God has knowledge of everything. God has mm -hmm. knowledge. So, so powerful is God's knowledge and so deep is God's knowledge. The Bible says he knows everything about you. He knows the number of hairs on you. <laughs> that's powerful knowledge. I don't mm -hmm. know about you, but mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's knowledge. That's, that's a deep knowledge. Not only does he know the number of hairs on your head and on you, he knows mm -hmm. you down to the core of your DNA because mm -hmm. he created Amen. Mm -hmm. Not only that, when you look at creation, when you look at all of creation, God knows it intimately. Yes, sir. That's what it means when it says God is omniscient. Mm -hmm. And I'm not just talking about what you see. The mm -hmm. things that are unseen, God Amen. knows them too. Mm -hmm. they, 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 God knows them. By name, knows their makeup, mm -hmm. knows everything about everything that's been created. Amen. Oh, Lord, my God. Uh -huh. when, when I think of all that God has created, the sun, the moon, and the stars. Amen. I'm in awesome wonder. I, I'm... Uh, my mind is blown. That's how, that's, that's right. what this omniscience is. Mm -hmm. It's a mind-blowing knowledge. We, we can't fathom how knowledgeable our God is. We can only speculate. We can only touch on it. Words can't explain truly how knowledgeable our God is. All knowledge comes from God. So God gives us this gift of knowledge, a piece of himself. Don't you know that you are made in God's likeness and image. And as a result of God's creative power in you, knowledge is a part of that creativity that God gives you. Mm -hmm. 
it's a part of who God is, which makes it a part of who you are. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Amen. It's because of who you are, God, that we give you glory. Mm -hmm. Because of who you are, God, we give you praise. Amen. You heard the psalmist saying that, but do you understand and 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 have a reverence for what it means mm -hmm. to us? Mm -hmm. And so this gift of knowledge is something that God gives us. And it mm -hmm. begins this way, according to David. David says in uh, Proverbs 1 and 7, I, I believe this is attributed to David. Uh, let me mm -hmm. go back and look. I don't want to, this Bible might not even tell me. There are certain Bibles that have, uh, but Proverbs 1 and 7 says it this way. Uh, and, and you all know the purpose of the proverb. This, this is this is Solomon. Oh, yeah. This is Solomon, not David. Sol Solomon's David's son. Mm -hmm. And what Solomon says is, in Proverbs one and seven, he says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it, it's where knowledge begins when you come to humbly submit yourself. Unto God. Mm -hmm. He's saying fear, he doesn't mean fear mm -hmm. and like trepidation. He means fear in the awesomeness of God. When you humble mm -hmm. yourself and submit to God out of the power of God, when you recognize who God is, as I was just speaking about his omniscience, when you recognize how powerful that is and how deep that is, you should have a reverence and a fear, a reverent fear of the Lord, which begins your knowledge, mm -hmm. a respect for. Amen. Right. appreciation for yeah it, it, it's a gift but it's it's, it's god giving a gift so you mm -hmm. have this reverence for god this reverence this this adoration yes. and reverence for who god is and mm -hmm. when you have that that's the beginning of knowledge in you that's that's the beginning of your uh let, let me see if i can bring this home a little bit i remember uh being hard-headed as a child and uh, and not paying attention. I was very rambunctious and I don't know, I might have been a little, have might have had a little bit of attention deficit disorder or something because my mind raced and ran all the time and you could be talking to me. I'd hear you, respond to you. I could respond to multiple things at once, but I wouldn't focus on one. But that's kind of hard when your mama's talking to you. <laughs> my mama's talking to you and I'm, I've got 10 things going on in my mind and, and I'm not properly prioritizing. I haven't learned. <laughs> I haven't gained knowledge yet because uh, because I, I haven't I, I don't have that reverence that 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 fear yet because you know Mama has not maybe not not necessarily instilled it. In me. And so what Mama says is, if you don't stop what you're doing and respond to what I'm saying, that's not exactly how she said it. I'm cleaning it up. <laughs> A lot, okay. I'm gonna pop you, uh, and 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 that gave me a reverence and a respect. So you have to have a reverence and respect. It's the beginning of knowledge. If you don't stop what you're doing, I'm gonna slap some sense into you. <laughs> Does that sound more like it? I'm gonna slap some sense into you, and that will make you a turn. That'll make you respect. That'll make you, that'll give you a reverent fear. Not only that'll give you fear and trepidation that goes along with the reverent fear. It, it's a it's a respect that you have to have. That's mama. And if if, if you don't have that respect for mama, mama gonna give you a thing or two to help you have it. Mm -hmm. And then that reverence will turn into fear and trepidation only because mm -hmm. of how you respond to it. Mm -hmm. You see yeah. what I'm saying? So when you have when when Solomon is talking about this knowledge of God, this 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 fear of the Lord mm -hmm. at the beginning of knowledge, he's talking about what he knows. He's talking mm -hmm. about having learned this, just mm -hmm. like I did when Mama popped me upside my head. I <laughs> learned it real quick. You mm -hmm. learned it real quick. I know mm -hmm. I ain't gonna mm -hmm. pop upside the head. I know mm -hmm. I was a little mm -hmm. rambunctious, but I ain't, I ain't the only one on this line that was rambunctious. No, you oh, ain't the only one. Amen. Oh, uh, I can't hear nobody, huh? <laughs> no, I think nobody else on this 
Bibles. Yes, Lord. Lord, you ain't Moses. And I, I know you had to learn a thing or two <laughs> about reverence and respect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A dark conversation going on. You run up inside yapping or intercede or interject yourself in it as a child. Uh -oh. Back of the lip. Backhand mm -hmm. to the lip. Mm -hmm. Reverence. Respect. Oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> this what? is what Solomon is talking about. He's talking about having this reverence, this fear of the Lord. And it's the beginning of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Right? And so that's what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. And true good knowledge comes from God as yeah. a gift from his own mouth. To those who have understanding, Daniel says. Says that in Daniel 2:21. If you look at Daniel, well, if you look at Daniel, well, I don't want you to leave Proverbs yet. If you look at Proverbs 2, 6, let me see if I can find it again. Uh Pastor, while you're looking at that, I was just looking at um Proverbs um Proverbs uh five. Say so let the wise listen. And that's right. they are learning. That's right. Listen. <laughs> My son, pay attention to my wisdom. Listen carefully to my wise counsel. That's five one. Yes. The first thing that I taught my children about the Bible, besides Psalm twenty three, you know, we always teach them Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want. We always teach them that. But I told them, if you want to be wise, read the Proverbs. Study Amen. the Proverbs. Live by the Proverbs. Wisdom, and you'll gain wisdom. And, and, and so it says in 2 6, Proverbs 2 6, for the Lord grants wisdom. Mm -hmm. From his mouth comes knowledge and mm -hmm. understanding. That's what we're talking about. Not only do you get knowledge, you get understanding. Wisdom. Mm -hmm. All of these things are applicable, mm -hmm. they all come from God. And Daniel 2 21 says something very similar. It says something very similar as to. Uh, wisdom coming from the mouth of God. Mm -hmm. So we want to be mindful of, of that as children of God. That you keep that in mind. We sons and daughters. I know we've gr we grown and we 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 older now, and but we're all in this process of growing in Christ. We're all in this process of maturing mm -hmm. in Christ. And God has a way of getting our attention when we get off course. When we get a little mm -hmm. old kilter, when we get a little off-center, God has a way of getting mm -hmm. out of it. And so God, from his own mouth, mm -hmm. gives us this understanding, this knowledge that comes from him. And God teaches us, shapes and molds us. We're like the clay on a potter's wheel, mm -hmm. constantly, constantly being shaped and molded, perfected, constantly being perfected to what God has called us to be. Uh, and so the spiritual gift of knowledge, some even call it this, a word of knowledge. You ever heard that saying? The utterance of knowledge. That, that's a, a particular aspect of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Word of knowledge, the utterance of knowledge. Yeah. It, gnosis, the, the Greek word for it is gnosis. It's, gnosis. It's, it's, it, it, gnosis, yeah. It, it simply yeah. means knowledge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And understanding. Mm -hmm. And the scriptural emphasis in 1 Corinthians 12, 8 is on the ability to speak this knowledge mm -hmm. to other persons in a given situation. Somebody turn to 1 Corinthians 12, 8 and read it for me. 1 Corinthians 12, 8. You there? Oh, yeah. All right, Doc. 12, 8. To one is given the message of wisdom mm. through the spirit. To another, a message of knowledge by the same spirit. To another, faith by the same spirit. To another, gifts of healing by the one spirit. Amen. You, that's what I'm going too far. Uh, yeah, that's, that's all right. right. But you can see, you can see that these are all spiritual gifts. Spiritual gifts. Yes, sir. Right. And so to one person, the spirit gives the ability to give wise advice, it says in a new um living translation, which means he gives a word of wisdom. He gives to another the same spirit gives a message of special knowledge. 
or a word of knowledge. And so that's what it means when it says this word of knowledge. They yeah. are gifts from God. These are spiritual mm -hmm. gifts, but yes, God sir. gives you the ability to say the right thing, to give wise counsel at yeah. the right time for mm -hmm. a specific purpose and moment. Yes, sir. God gives you that ability, gives you that knowledge to do the word of knowledge, the word of wisdom to do. Yeah. That's how you get it. And mm -hmm. so in the Bible, knowledge refers to the examples that God gives us. Mm -hmm. you know, Jesus taught in parables, right? He gave us examples. He told mm -hmm. us stories. He gave us truths. The, 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 the knowledge of God are also the commands of God. Mm -hmm. yeah. God wants us to know the things that God wants us to believe, mm -hmm. the things that God wants us to heed. Mm -hmm. he, he's telling us these things so that we'll learn as we go. To ignore mm -hmm. them is foolish. Amen. But to embrace them is knowledge, and this knowledge supplements our faith and gives us godly life. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. That's how we have this abundant life when we listen to God, when we obey God, when we Amen. obey those truths, those, those commands, and the knowledge mm -hmm. comes from doing these things. And He gives us, God gives us these truths, these commands, the things that He wants us to know, believe, and heed. They're right there for us, they're right mm -hmm. here. They're all in here. And not only that, God will speak to you. God will guide you. The Holy Spirit nudges you. Mm -hmm. I've heard it said somewhere in the word that God orders our steps. Our steps. And God does that to help you become more knowledgeable, but yes. also so that you will have godly life. Yeah. <sighs> The Bible yeah. talks about knowledge. Simply put, all of these are gifts. They're gifts, as they're called in the Bible, uh, and they're defined as knowledge, the facts. In Proverbs 9 and 10, these, these are the facts. Proverbs 18, 15, these are facts. All of these scriptures are factual. Factual. In Proverbs 9 and 10, it says, fear of the Lord is the foundation. We already talked about that. Of wisdom, knowledge of the Holy One results in good judgment. That's a fact. <laughs> That's a fact. Mm -hmm. In Proverbs 18, 15, it reads that intelligent people are always ready to learn. Their mm -hmm. ears are open for knowledge. That's yeah. a fact. <laughs> it's a fact. What chapter is that, Pastor? That was Proverbs uh, 18, 15. 18, 15. Mm -hmm. It's a fact. I'm just pointing out some facts from the scripture, right? And then if you look over in back in the New Testament in Colossians, it gives you some more facts. Now, the Bible is replete with these facts. So don't think that these are the only ones. Oh, no. It's all it's replete with facts. All of those facts. Yes. And, yes, and so that's what that's what the Bible is pointing out to us. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is, in fact, replete with, with facts that God gives us so that we can have godly life. So we can supplement mm -hmm. our faith with mm -hmm. these facts. We don't have to make it up. These are facts. So in Colossians 2 and 8, it reads this way. Don't let anyone capture you with empty philosophies and high-sounding nonsense that come from human thinking mm -hmm. and from the spiritual powers of the world rather than from Christ. If you do these things, if you let someone confuse you, if you let someone capture you with false prophecy, with false knowledge, with gnosis, human knowledge is basically what it's saying. Human philosophy may sound good, but this human thinking, it can come from human thinking and it can come from spiritual powers that want to lead you astray. 
That's what Colossians is talking about there. That's a fact. Right now, you are exposed to so much human philosophy and human gnosis, knowledge of self, human sayings. People get on TikTok, they get on uh, Facebook, they get on Instagram, and they say whatever, what they believe. If it's not biblically based, and that's why we have to be very, very careful to discern and to know our scriptures. And to, if we don't know, to look and research and understand if, if what someone is sharing is from scripture or if it's mm -hmm. from their own heart, from their own being. Because we can get caught up. There's so much stuff out there. And most of it, evolves around the word. Uh, you remember during Jesus' temptation after he was baptized by John, how did the enemy approach him? And how did Jesus respond? Mm -hmm. How? How did the enemy approach him? In his temptation. Temptation. Right. In the temptation, he he knew he was the son of God. Mm -hmm. Dance yourself down. Turn these stones into bread. I know you can do it. How did he, how did the enemy know that Jesus could turn stone into bread? How did the enemy know that even if Jesus spoke to the rock, that it would produce war? Because mm -hmm. he saw God do it before. He saw, mm -hmm. he saw God do it for the children of the Hebrew children in the desert. Mm -hmm. The enemy knows the scripture. He's trying to tempt you through the word in something that's false, something that will tempt you yeah, in your you. flesh. Yeah. Something that you will to try God. Try God. That's what he was trying. You throw yourself down from this cliff. You know the angel's gonna come and save you. And how did Jesus respond? With scripture. With scripture, amen. With scripture. Mm -hmm. Every time the enemy tried to trip Jesus up during his temptation, after the baptism, every time mm -hmm. Jesus said what? It is it written. Is written. When you're challenged, by the enemy, when you're tempted by something you hear, mm -hmm. some, some human knowledge, some new philosophy, some false prophecy. Yeah. Look and see what's written. Test yeah. it against the Bible. Mm -hmm. True knowledge comes from the fear of the Lord and the mm -hmm. facts that God gives you in the Bible, the commands that God gives you in the Bible. The, mm -hmm. the, 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 the everything God gives you, He gives you for a reason. Amen. So that you can be knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. So that you won't get tripped up. So you'll mm -hmm. know what God is saying. Know the facts. The knowledge provides the facts. That's what Second Colossians is talking about. First Timothy two four says something very similar. First Timothy. Chapter 2 and verse 4 reads this way. It's the next book over. It's the next book, the next two books over, actually, three books, because that, that's the only in between that. Uh, 2 4 reads this way. And I'll start with three. This is good and pleases God our Savior, who wants everyone to be saved and to understand the truth. God wants you to know the truth. Why? Because the truth sets you free. The, the truth. God wants you to be free. He wants you to know the truth. Amen. Right? And so that is power in and of itself. That's knowledge in and of itself. The truth. These are facts. The facts lead you to truth. The truth leads you to freedom. Through the knowledge that God is sharing God wants you to have knowledge. He wants you to have understanding or the ability to translate meaning from the facts. 
He wants you to have discernment and understanding so that when he gives you the facts, you can apply them to your life. That's what the word is for us. It's like you can eat it. You can, you can digest it. You can grow from it. It's nutritious for your soul. <laughs> That's how important the scriptures are. Right? And yeah. so godly knowledge comes from fearing the Lord. It comes from being in awe of him and submitting to him, as it said in Proverbs 1, 7. True good knowledge comes from God as a gift from his own mouth to your ear. From his own mouth to your ear to your heart. Because it's out of your heart, these things. The goodness comes out of your heart. The trueness of who you are comes out of your heart. That's why Jesus gives that example when he's talking about, well, you can eat things, you bless it. You, you don't talk about what you can and can't eat. That's not what's important. It's going to come out of you. But what goes mm -hmm. into your heart will render who you truly are. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And so godly knowledge comes as this gift from God from his own mouth to our heart to those who have understanding. Mm -hmm. Believers can ask God for knowledge. Did you know that? Yeah. Ask God for knowledge. Look at Psalm 119. This is one of the longest uh, books in the Bible. Psalm 119. You know it is. Uh, but Psalm 119, look at verse 66. Everybody with me in Psalm? Mm -hmm. Psalm, Psalm 119, the book of Psalms. Let me say this too. It's the book of Psalms because there are numerous Psalms, right? Yeah. But when you when you one Psalm using one Psalm, thank you, Doc. It's Psalm. <laughs> it's singular, right? Mm -hmm. All right. That's just a little lesson. Y'all there? It's mm -hmm. 11966. Mm -hmm. Somebody read it for me. And let me know what translation you use in this way. 1966. Oh, this is the Christian standard. Mm -hmm. Teach me good judgment and discernment, for I rely on your commands. That's right. And That's mine right. said, uh, mine said, I'm in a the trans. In mm -hmm. a, mm. <laughs> anyway, in teach me knowledge and good judgment, for I believe right. in your com commands. That's right. Mm -hmm. My reason is when the New Living Translation it just reverses. It says, I believe in your command. Mm -hmm. Now teach me good judgment and knowledge. Mm -hmm. What is the psalmist saying? Teach me mm -hmm. good, judgment good judgment and knowledge. Mm -hmm. Give it to me, God. Mm -hmm. I yeah. want to have it. Mm -hmm. And God gives it freely as a gift to you. But you can ask for knowledge. You can ask God for knowledge. And God will provide it. In a limited way, knowledge allows us to see the circumstances of our life the way that God sees them. Mm -hmm. Through the gift of the Holy Spirit, we can determine God's purpose for our lives mm -hmm. and live them accordingly. That's what this knowledge is about. This is the godly life. This is supplementing your faith, not only with virtue, but your virtue with knowledge. Mm -hmm. And why is knowledge important to God? Well, anybody, why do you think God is it? Why do you think that knowledge, after all that we've talked about thus far, why is knowledge important to God? Knowledge is important to God because it it means that we receive what is given from Him. We receive from Him the and, and because and He is He is the fountain of all knowledge. That's right. Okay, it's important. So that's that's one aspect of it. Uh, why do why does anyone else think that God that, that knowledge is important? from the aspect of you having it. Why is it important for God? God has all knowledge. He has it. Why is it important to him that you have it? 
to learn his word one day. To, to learn his word. I his like word. that, brother. His to, word. to learn more about him, his to words. learn his ways, to learn his word, to learn mm -hmm. the truth, to learn the yeah. facts. God mm -hmm. wants you to be aware. He doesn't want you to be tripped up or tricked by the enemy. Mm -hmm. He wants you to know everything for godly living. Amen. As we gain knowledge, we learn to appreciate all that God has provided us, right? And increased mm -hmm. knowledge and training helps us support our family. Mm -hmm. It helps us build the kingdom of God here on earth. It helps us to be better citizens. It helps us to become more like our father in heaven. Mm -hmm. In fact, knowledge is instruction. That's right. Amen. That's right, Doc. It gives us the it instruction. It tells you how to do it. That's right. So it's important for God to give you, instruct you in knowing how to live, how to be more of what he created you to be, how mm -hmm. he's called you and all things to work together for good in order. Mm -hmm. God has an order and a decency about it. You look mm -hmm. at the sun, the moon, the stars, on, in nature. Think about mm -hmm. each morning when you wake up, prayerfully, you did wake up this morning, you're on the Zoom. You, 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 you see the light of the day. Mm -hmm. You see the light of the day because God created an order to the earth spinning on its axis. Amen. Not only does the earth spin on its axis, inside of the earth, the core of the earth is spinning. Mm -hmm. Creating electromagnetic and, and waves and pulses so that you have gravity and an atmosphere. God created that too that keeps in its Amen. place so that you don't we don't burn up in the sun. That's God created right. us to be at just the right distance from the sun mm -hmm. and have the right amount of light and warmth for life itself. Amen. Any further Amen. closer Amen. to the sun and we wouldn't on, have sir. life. Any mm -hmm. further away from the sun, Maybe we wouldn't have life. There's an order to it. Yes. And so not only is there an order to how the earth spins its core uh, on its axis, but it's mm -hmm. a, 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 a order to how where the earth is and how it orbits around the sun. Mm -hmm. There's an order to the, the, the moon orbiting the earth. The earth, amen. There's, mm -hmm. a, a, there's an order to it. As a matter of fact, the, the moon gets it gets its light from the sun. It doesn't, mm -hmm. have, it doesn't have a natural light. It gets it from no. the sun. And so mm -hmm. that's why certain parts of the day you can see the moon at night mm -hmm. when there's no sunlight mm -hmm. because the sun is reflecting into the moon and the moon is now shining. The lesser light is now shining that light upon the earth. It's in the right place, in the right mm -hmm. order, exactly mm -hmm. what God called it to be, to give you light at the night. Mm -hmm. Stop. Amen. Billions of them. Planets. Mm -hmm. Billions of them. Universe, galaxies within the universe, millions upon billions of them. Mm -hmm. God created all of that. And yeah. it's all working in according to the divine purpose mm -hmm. and order in which God set it. The oceans have a, a, a barrier. They have, a, they have a, a set parameter in which God set in order for them to mm -hmm. create just enough through the magnetic forces and the gravity to create the wave. Don't you yeah. know there's an order to it? That the first wave is less than the second wave. The second wave is a little greater, right mm -hmm. until you get to the seventh wave. The, mm -hmm. the number of completion, the seventh wave is always the largest wave. Mm -hmm. It's an order to it. Have you ever noticed that? I don't know what made me speak about that, but there's an order to it. Mm -hmm. I did not know that. That's very interesting. I, I know. That's right. That's yeah. why the, the first wave is always the smallest wave, mm -hmm. and they get increasing right up into the seventh wave. The seventh wave is the largest wave, and then after mm -hmm. that, start it starts all over again. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? Because there's an order to order. it. An order. Amen. That, Amen. That's Amen. what it's about, and and because of this order. That God created. That's why the sun, moon, and stars stay in their place. Mm -hmm. That's why the earth rotates on its axis and stays in its place. That's mm -hmm. why everything is in the order that God created. Mm -hmm. It's ever expanding and unfolding like a curtain, the Bible says. And scientists know this because the word is true. Mm -hmm. It's ever creating and ever unfolding, creating yeah. more and more stars. Stars are being birthed out there. And, yeah. and more and more planets are being discovered out there. Mm -hmm. We're struggling to understand our own solar system, let alone those that are 
beside us, beside Amen. the middle of y'all, because we have very limited knowledge. But God has all. I yeah. said God has all knowledge, and God yeah. has all power. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes, Lord. There's an order to it. God wants you to know mm -hmm. the order. God wants you to increase your knowledge mm -hmm. so that you can live in accordance with his order mm -hmm. for you, for me, for all mm -hmm. of humanity. We're mm -hmm. out of order. Mm -hmm. The reason we have wars and rumors of wars and, and foolishness fighting over dirt and resources yeah. is because we're out of order. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everything we need, God's created yeah. for us to share. And if we would share it and live in accordance with God's order, there would be no war. Mm -hmm. There's more than enough food being produced by the land, the trees and 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 and, and the vegetables that God created were enough to feed all of us. Mm -hmm. All of us. Yet Amen. still we hoard them and fight because we're out of we're out of order. Mm -hmm. But when you live in accordance with God's order, then you can live and be the example that God's called you to be. Mm -hmm. And you will have knowledge of what God is instructing you to do because God gives you the knowledge as a gift. Mm -hmm. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? It's awesome. It's Everything we need, God gives us for godly living. Just yeah. simply through the knowledge of God, first of all. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, God continues to give us knowledge. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pastor, that just like if I was looking out this morning, when I look at the one and be praying in the morning, mm -hmm. and some mornings you look at this cloud, is, you know, it's dark and it's cloudy and it's light. And this morning I look out and it's like it rained last night, and yes, I mean yesterday. And the sky, I mean, it's a cloud in the sky, and it was this beautiful wow. blue. You know yes. that that's just a, that's just so marvelous to look at a, a God's creation creation like that. You know, to see that it's and see wonderful. how the trees are budding out now. You know, and yeah. for this for this season, for His season. You know, season. That's another thing. That's the mm -hmm. order of God. We have Amen. seasons mm -hmm. based on where we are located on the earth. Right, the seasons are mm -hmm. a order of God. God created that order mm -hmm. for us based on where you are away from the center of the earth. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it's amazing. It is. It literally is amazing. You can mm -hmm. look at nature to create it. The creation, this is how we started and this is probably how we'll have to end the night. But you'll look at the creation and you can see God's fingerprint. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes, you see God's fingerprint. That's, yes. just, that's just a little of who God is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? Amazing. It's more than amazing. It's more, more, more than amazing. amazing. Yes, yeah, amen. Yes, Lord. That's my why goodness. the psalmist says, oh, Lord, my God, when I mm -hmm. in awesome wonder, consider all, all the world. The world. I mean, that I yes, I, 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 I see. Mm -hmm. the I see the stars. Mm -hmm. Here. I hear. Thunder. The thunder. In the road. Yes, I power throughout. Mm -hmm. yes, power throughout the, world, the universe. This mm -hmm. That's right. It's displayed so you see it. Come on, sir. And in an of wonder, you bow mm -hmm. down and you worship God. Yeah. You reverence God. Mm -hmm. You have a, oh, a, a, a fear, a reverent mm -hmm. fear of God because, Amen. Of, only because of what you see. That's what you see. His mm -hmm. created hand, his fingerprint in nature. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stand out in the night sky, look at the stars. Mm -hmm. Come on, sir. And an awesome one to give God praise. Yes, Lord. Yeah. No, thank you. Wake Jesus. up in the morning like Mother Burger did this morning. And don't see a cloud in the sky mm -hmm. and see a tapestry of blue. Yes. A blue Lord. like you've never seen before. Yes, Lord. Painter no. can't even get it right. Yes, Lord. Hey, he yes. can try to emulate it. He can try to duplicate it. Mm -hmm. But you see this an awesome one that you see the blueness of the sky. Yes. Without mm -hmm. a cloud in it. And if you happen to see a white cloud in it, the mm -hmm. of the white cloud, yes, of the tapestry of, of the sky that God created, the atmosphere that God created for yes. us. It, it, it's awesome. It's an mm -hmm. awesome one. And, and if you happen to see a sunset where the sun is it, is reflecting into the clouds, they turn orange. Mm -hmm. orange mm -hmm. color All color. color. It, it's like it, a Picasso can't even touch it. Hallelujah! Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's out of control. It, it, it's an awesome wonder. It, mm -hmm. It's God. It's yes. God. In what God has created, mm -hmm. yeah. Don't you yes. know that yes. you and I are God's yes. creation? We're yes. that same mm -hmm. tapestry. We're that same image and likeness that created mm -hmm. yep. yes, thing that God has created, and 
Each one of us are unique in our own way. No Thank two you. of us are the same. Oh, I don't yeah. care if you're identical twins. Mm, you, you're, right. you're, God created you uniquely and yeah. called yeah. you and chose you mm -hmm. specifically yeah. for his purpose. Right. This yeah. gift of knowledge is so you understand that. Mm -hmm. This gift of knowledge is for you to yield to God, have an awesome uh, fear and reverent fear of God and, and it begins the story. Mm -hmm. And as you continue to grow in the story, you ask God for knowledge and wisdom. You remember who asked God for knowledge and wisdom? Who was it to ask God for knowledge and wisdom? Out of everything he could have had, the king's son, Solomon. the one we Solomon. talked about for the proverb, mm -hmm. Solomon, he asked him for wisdom. Mm -hmm. And God honored it, respected it. He could have asked mm -hmm. him for anything. And he asked them for wisdom. Wisdom and knowledge. Amen. Solomon prayed to God, give your servant an understanding mind, mm -hmm. able to discern the difference between what? Good and evil. Mm -hmm. Yes. And God gave it to him, the Bible says. Mm -hmm. yep. God gave yep. him a wise and discerning mind. Mind to govern this great people. Mm -hmm. To govern the people. Hallelujah. That's right, God. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. and, 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 that That's the... Oh, so... so that God honored that because it was necessary to govern the people that God had called and chosen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So wisdom is the ability to discern between right and wrong, which means right mm -hmm. and wrong, mm -hmm. and real, good and evil exist. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we thank God for what God has instructed us in tonight. Mm -hmm. There's more to say about knowledge. We'll work our way through that next week, God willing. Um, there's more to say about this thing, knowledge. There's so much more to it. We're going to look at a few more scriptures about it. Then we'll talk about, have, have any of you ever really prayed for wisdom? Have you ever really prayed for knowledge? Have you really asked God to give you discernment? I have. Sure. It's you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how does God impart yes. knowledge to us? These are just some of the questions we need to answer in the, in the days day ahead, oh, and yeah. you know, and how do we go about getting wisdom? And yeah, these, these are the things we need to to, to continue to chase down. Amen. Mm -hmm. We want to know, God. We want to know. We want to yeah. know. That's right. Amen. We want to know. Yeah, I pray for a comprehension, also, Pastor. Sometimes I read and I forget just like that. I do what I just read. <laughs> so, Amen. You know, later, and I can't comprehend, comprehend and remember the remembrance of them. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that's the problem. I, I, I just ask God to give me more comprehension. Amen. I understand. Miss wisdom and knowledge and comprehension to, un to understand and, and, and know and keep his what I read in his word, you know, in my in my memory. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I do something similar, but I, I add discernment. Mm -hmm. Need discernment, Lord. And so that's very similar in nature mm -hmm. uh, to what you're asking for in the way of remembrance. Mm -hmm. Remember it so you can apply it and discern from it. Yes. Amen. That's Amen. it. Yeah. Let us pray. God, we thank you for the word that you share with us tonight. We thank you, God, how you continue to help us to understand you better. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. To continue to grow in you. God, and to continue to receive the gifts that you give us so that we would have godly life. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for everyone gathered on the line tonight and in the Zoom mm -hmm. room, God, and those who wanted to be here and couldn't. Mm -hmm. We pray that at some point they go back and look at the recording so that they too might gain what you're sharing with those who have gathered. Mm -hmm. Grow in you, God. God, we desire to be closer to you. Yes. That's what we're doing as we study the word. Yes. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the Holy Ghost showing up. Yes, Thank sir. you for giving Thank us you. all that we stand in need of. Mm -hmm. Godly life. Now, God, as we part our separate ways, watch over us. Yes. Keep Lord. us until we meet again. Yeah. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 God bless you all. I enjoyed tonight. You, uh, study. Yes, you I pray that you enjoyed it as well. And yes. Yeah. 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 Go yes. back and look at the scriptures and study Thank them you, for Jesus. yourself and grow in Christ. Yes. Yeah. God bless you all. Have a wonderful night. Good 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 night.